Oh my god. I bet you I wasn't fucking filming. Well, that fucking blows. I got a lot of good riding in, too. I guess it's part of motive vlogging, you know? So, uh, this video is, you know, my version of uh, what I think you guys should do for your first bike. Just because I'm riding a cruiser doesn't mean I, I wanted a cruiser for my first bike. My first bike, I wanted to be a CBR 600. And a lot of people actually told me it was a good idea. A lot of people told me it was a bad idea, obviously. But I'm going to tell you what I think you guys should get. Let's see if I can make a turn down here. If you want to start riding, I don't think you should even start looking at a bike. What I think you should do is you should uh, buy a helmet, buy some gloves, buy, well, I don't even have boots on, but I think you should buy boots. And then once you have all that shit, then what you could do is you could take the MSF course and learn how to ride and stuff and get your license. Cause that's what I did. I took my MSF course. I used to ride my cousin's dirt bike in my aunt's backyard. And that was the only riding experience I had, like, whatsoever. I, I had almost no riding experience. Oh, cute dog. So I learned shifting and all that from taking the MSF course. They taught you everything. Took your uh, written test. They taught you a whole bunch of, like, helpful things. How to stay safe riding a bike. And they taught you how to ride a bike. And it was fun because you actually got to ride a bike. It wasn't like you're just sitting in the classroom all day. So it was honestly fun. You know, like, I'd recommend just doing it just for fun. But, yeah, you get your license if you pass the course. Jesus Christ, bumpy road. Look at Halloween decorations already. I love it, man. So, yeah, if you pass the course, you get your, your license, motorcycle license, or endorsement. So, before you even... Before you even think about getting a bike, get your license, man. Take the course. That's the best thing to do. Then once you have your license and everything, <clears throat> it's, it's much easier to get a bike. You don't have to like find people to ride at home for you. You can just buy it, get it registered and insured and ride it. That's what I recommend doing. So once you have your license, you took your MSF course, you have a helmet, you got gloves, you got boots, even though I don't use boots because I just like my shoes better. Go on uh, the Facebook marketplace, go on uh, Craigslist and look for a bike don't look for a specific type type in motorcycle and then get whatever you could fucking get just get a cheap bike get something that's ugly but runs good this bike had 1700 miles and ran beautifully but had rust all over it i just painted them all the rusty spots black and it's a good bike and it, i got it for 900 bucks 950 bucks and it's only a 250, but who cares? I didn't care what size bike I was getting because I don't think the size really matters all that much, honestly. A lot of people say, oh, get a 600, get a 250. Get what you can get, guys. That's the best thing to do is just get on the road. Start getting comfortable, start shifting gears, learn how to use your bike. And then you can get what you want, you know? I didn't have a lot of money to get up and riding. This bike is way cheaper than it would be to finance a bike. I'm gonna pay it off and my insurance is 15 bucks a month. My buddy, his his bike insurance is 300 a month because he has to have full coverage. Eventually I wanna get a new bike, but for now, just get what you can get, guys. Get on the road, have fun with it. I'm having so much fun. Pretty nice area, look at that little gazebo. <clears throat> yeah, just have fun with it. Get what you can get once you have all your, your things beforehand. So I'll show you what I did to this bike after I got it. It, it was not very much at all. All I literally did... Which, by the way, here's my bike. Oh, my blinker's still on. See, I'm so bad with the blinkers. All I really did was I painted this. This was all rusty. I'll probably flash a picture up of what it looked like before I painted it. This was all rusty. Painted these matte black. They were all rusty. 
this I painted, and this I painted, and this I painted. That was like the easiest thing to do, and I think I can sell this bike for more money just because I did that. And I painted these. And it makes the bike look so sick. Look at that purple on the exhaust. That thing is fucking hot. I burnt myself on it over here. This is probably my skin, to be honest. Yeah, so first step one, I think you should guys should get gear. Once you get gear, you should uh, take your MSF course. And once you take your MSF course, that's when you can start worrying about getting a bike. Once you get a bike, you can just have fun. Cause that's what this is all about guys, is having so much fucking fun dude. I have so much fun on this little bike. I never thought I would be getting a cruiser, but here I am with the cruiser and it's so much fun. I really wanted to get like a, a street bike or something like that. But man, I'm happy I got a cruiser. I would definitely get another one. Don't just stick with getting the sport bike cause that's what everybody rides and that's a cool thing to do. Try everything guys, cause riding is so much fun and every type of riding is different. Like you, there's dirt trails you can go on and stuff like that. Like I really want to get the 701 Husqvarna or Husqvarna 701. That bike looks so sick, but it's just another thing I got to do. You know, this is a beautiful area. I love this area. Oh shit, you can go down here. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Wow, water's right there. I like this area. Please pick up after your pet. Nah, I'll just not. Let's see if I can do a burnout. <laughs> I fucking did it, guys. And too much fun, dude. Whatever bike you get. You're gonna have so much fucking fun with, so just get whatever the fuck you can find. Get something cheap, under a grand. Try to do that, you know. Get all your gear. Don't get expensive stuff, cause different bikes need different gear. Just get the basics. Get a full face helmet. Get some regular gloves, cheap gloves. Some pair of work boots if you don't already have one. Take your MSF course. And then after you take your MSF course, just fucking, you know, look for a bike. And then once you get the bike, figure out how to get it home. And then just stay in the neighborhood. Because you can really do that with any bike. You could get a 1000 and just stay in the neighborhood. And you'll be good. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. And um, if you have any like critiquing to do for me, just let me know. Because like I said... I could use all the help I could get. All right, guys. I'm going to sign out now. Dreaded Moto, dude. Peace.